Hello. Hi. Can you guess where I am? I'm back at Silver Birch. It is the end of September, so it's a wee bit early, but all the Christmas stuff is now starting to come out and I want to get all organised for Christmas. guys ignore my eyebrows by the way they're really neat and done so they're not exactly sitting their best they've got funny wax in them but anyway um but there's a generator there you probably can't hear me let's go this way all the home stuff in here is absolutely gorgeous as well as these look at them big white ones i'm thinking of basically doing like white and clear and maybe a bit of gold for my christmas tree oh my like goodness. see like this tree but not as full I've also seen a tree out of the lake. It's Christmas. Got all the lights. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's the most wonderful time of year.
end this week's vlog with a little haul for you guys. I'm actually ending this vlog, even though I've started another vlog. Um, yeah, so what I've been up to today, you'll see in next week's vlog. <laughs> um, I may or may not be wearing a new little Lala piece coming to a website near you real soon. Representing the brand today, so I am. I feel like this is probably one of my favourite pieces we've ever launched, but I say that about everything that's new that's coming, but you'll see all that really, really soon. Anyways, what I'm actually here to show you just now is a little Christmas haul. Now you may be thinking, Laura, get a grip, we know you like Christmas, but it's October. I do have a reason this year, guys. As you all know by now, I'm sure if you're watching videos or you follow me on Instagram, I'm moving at the end of November. So we get our keys. Again, I'm not going to give dates and stuff because like, what well, if it gets moved or whatever? I'm fingers and toes crossed it doesn't, but I don't want to jinx anything. So we should be moving at the end of November, which doesn't really give me much time to move in, get settled and go and get Christmas decorations. And obviously Christmas is my favourite time of the year, so I don't want to be like caught out by like moving in crazy with everything that's going on, try to get the house together and then being like shit we don't have Christmas decorations, don't have Christmas tree etc etc. Um, also Chris will probably be like Laura you know we've got bills to pay, things to do, you're not going out and wasting money on lots of extravagant Christmas bits so I'm going to do it just now so he doesn't know. So I have quite a lot to show you. Um, for the house I kind of wanted We've got like my house is going to be very neutral with a few black kind of pieces of furniture here and there and um, a lot of kind of like accents of black through like ornaments and different things and um, so I kind of wanted to keep my Christmas decorations quite traditional but like we're going for a very like rustic woody neutral whites vibe that's kind of it summed up in words um, so yeah, I thought I would just show you what I've got. Um, I have been posting stuff on my homepage. I'll link that again here. Um, Home by Lala. I've been sharing quite a lot on there because I don't know if you guys don't want to see that on my main page. So any kind of Christmassy bits that I've been posting recently will be over there. Um, but yeah, I think everyone's kind of getting into Christmas earlier and earlier, aren't they? Like I'm not the only crazy person. The aisles were full of people. It wasn't just me dancing about the aisles, loving life. But anyway. Um, so I've got a mix of things from the range B and M. Is that it? The range of B and M. I think it might be. I'll work. I'm TK Maxx. Mm, don't know. I'm just going to work my way through and show you some of the bits I got. Um, because I feel like what happens is all these things come in stock and then they go really quickly. So if you want to get organised like me, then get yourself down to these shops. Um, so I got this. How cute says obviously Merry Christmas, it's wood. I'm planning on having this sit in our hall on the radiator cover. I think that's really cute, nice little candle, etc, etc. Oh, I've just realised there's something I've not brought it through. I'll need to go and get him. So yeah, I got this from B&M and it was only £6. Now, does that not look, look so expensive? So really chuffed with that. That's the thing as well, I've bought like loads of Christmas stuff and I've not spent a lot of money. Like I've got like Christmas on a budget but it looks expensive and looks very chic so I'm quite chuffed. Let me show you little, little ornaments first. So I got this, how cute, again you can see like the kind of vibe we're going for here. It's very neutral um, and cute. So obviously this sits like this and you put like your VT lights in. Um, I've actually got, um, it's like white company dupes for like one of their winter scents. So I'm gonna put them in and I was thinking this could sit on like our little TV unit. I just wanted it to be like so cozy, so Christmassy and yeah, just like, just really nice. I'm so excited. I picked up this little sign so you could hang it. Um, I'm actually probably gonna just sit this. I'm thinking next to like where my coffee machine is gonna be um, and it's just obviously says family Christmas rules. Not that there's actually a family, it's me and Chris, but anyway, he has to follow all these rules. Um, so it just says like smile and be happy, squeeze the presents, give Santa milk and cookies, welcome friends, keep the glass full all day, be kind, blah blah blah. But it's very cute, matches the theme of the house with the black and again this was from the range. I have to show you my little DIY, well I'm going to say my DIY but my dad actually helped me, um, Christmas decoration. So I actually got this, this was one of my first things I bought, Christmas related for the house. Um, it was actually red, like this sleigh bit was red. But I'll take this wee bit off so you can see. So it's obviously like a little serving tray. Oh, breaking already. And it says this on it. So cute, isn't it? Um, so 
it's like a little serving sleigh. Obviously I've said that like, my house is going to be kind of like neutrals with like blacks. Um, so I thought this would be just really, really cute for like the main Christmas that I'm having, like my Christmas bits on Christmas Eve. And yeah, I'm just a really gimmicky person. I love it all. But I believe this was only like three or four pound guys and it was B&M. But bear in mind you're looking for it with a red sleigh, it's not black. My dad actually spray painted it for me. Because it's an angel. Yeah, I'm not going to show you every single bobble that I bought, but I'll show you some of them. So I got these. Can you see them? These from Sterling. Not going to lie, these were actually the most expensive bobbles I got, guys. These are six pound a bobble, which is quite pricey. Um, but I only got four and they do kind of match in with the theme of my tree. But yeah, these were the most expensive bobbles I did pick up. So I got them from Sterling. Got four of them. I then got this little one. Can you see that? This actually lights up, which I thought was really cute. This was from B&M and it was only £3. That one was actually, I think that's the second most expensive one I got. Everything else was like a pound max. I got this little style here, which is like kind of like frosted snowflake to bring in some whites. This was from the range and it was £1.49. I then got this kind of little pack of snowflakes, again, bringing in some white, but you can see they're obviously like wood. Um, very, very cute. I don't know how much these were, the price is not on them, but they weren't expensive, guys, and it's a pack of 12. I got these from being, um, not going to lie, I think I'm probably only going to use the reindeer because I'm not too sure about those other animals on there, I'm not sure about that, uh, but we'll wait and see, um, and these were only £3. But these from the range as well, again there's no price on them but they weren't expensive, they're obviously just these kind of little white wooden hearts. Okay, I did do quite a big haul of these over on my homepage, so if you want to like see them all up close and stuff like that, then you can go over there. But I got a load of these from the range. I think I went, I think I got four or six, and then I got more. Like I went back and got more. I think I've got about twelve of these in total. But how stunning are these? Now these were only one pound twenty nine. Like they're so expensive looking still. So I got loads of them. I also picked up these. See them, just little kind of white sparkly ones again from the range. The range is so good. Like what I really like about the range is it's got different aisles for Christmas, and it's very much. I know most places do this, but like in other shops, it's like a section, whereas you get a full aisle of like all reds, all greens, all silvers, all pinks, like that kind of thing. Um, so they have a full section of kind of very rustic white, traditional, but just really, really just really pretty baubles. Um, so I also got little bows. Um, I've got more than one pack of all these by the way, but I'm just showing you like one pack so you can kind of get the gist. Got quite a lot here. Um, I've got this little one, again to bring in like the wood vibes. Is it going to show? How cute. So again, these were only like a pound I'm sure. Oh my god, these are 49 pounds even better. I got this one. So cute and then I got quite a few of these ones because these have got like the green in them as well which I kind of want to bring in. So I've got them. Is there anything else in the bottom here? Oh these are cute. Let me show you these. I got quite a few of these little reindeer. also got these from the range. Most of my Christmas decorations were from the range. Um, like I said they've got such good aisles everything right I think I've kind of shown you everything in that bag then the final little bits I have to show you are these mugs so I got um two of these obviously like one for me one for Chris um but I absolutely I mean everyone loves green right now but how cute is that this mug was I think three pounds two pounds for this mug obviously it says let it snow imagine a really cute hot chocolate in there love it so got this one because this one just really suits the whole kind of aesthetic and colour scheme of my house. Get Chris one of these, thought this would just be nice for me. Um, and this one was 2 50 I've got a couple more ornaments. So I got this little guy right here, kind of like whitewashed with gold, um, which again I thought would just be really cute sitting on like our TV unit. Um, this was £8. Sorry about how cute it's he. Um, another little Rudolph um, from the range. This one was like £3, I think. It was, he was cheap. Um, oh, wait, when I've gone back to front. There's just a bit there. Um, but yeah, I think you're really cute. Obviously, I've got 
like loads of different bits to set things on. So Christmas ornaments, like dotted around my house to begin with. I won't have like all my actual nice homey bits out to begin with. I'll probably just have Christmas decorations everywhere. And then I got this from Sterling. This is like actually like a marble and I just love this kind of like um, white water wood. I think this is really, really cute. Um, and this was £9.50. So again, everything was really reasonable. Like nothing was like crazy priced. Um, I'm really chuffed with everything I got. I'm going to quickly go and run and get my little gnome. I call it a gnome. I don't know if that's what it's called. But I'll go get him and I've also got a Santa. So, BRB. Back with my pals. So, I can't believe I left him in there. I almost forgot to show you guys. Um, so, oh, tidy your little beard up. How cute is this? I'm actually thinking this might sit on my... Um, either my TV unit. You know what's different? Sit on my TV unit. Um, or the radiator cover when you come in the door. This is the second thing I bought for the house for Christmas. So he's a wee cutie. And I picked this up from Silver Birch. And of course it would not be Christmas without Santa, the main man himself. Um, I think I've had one of these in every single colour over the years. Um, I have a stunning pink one from last year, which actually you can get in B&M again this year. It's kind of got like cord, kind of pinky pants on. Um, pants, I mean trousers. Um, but yeah, if your theme's pink or like actually if your theme's anything this year they've got like pretty much a Santa in every colour but I wanted quite a neutral one my mum actually found him and obviously he's got a kind of like minky neutral coloured jacket on so he's probably going to sit next to my Christmas tree which speaking of Christmas trees I've got all my decorations and I don't actually have a tree yet but I've picked one out so the tree is the only thing I still need to get. The last little thing I want to show you is before I round off this vlog is a little decoration that my mum bought me so I have been saying that I want like uh, our first Christmas like personalised bobble for a tree um, I just think it's really cute to get ones like that and then obviously like, when you have like kids and stuff you you get like baby's first Christmas and then obviously you, I just like personalised decorations I think it's cute um, I like when you go to like the Christmas markets and you get personalised ones as well and yeah I just think it's nice to have like, little bits of that on the tree so I've been saying that um, but my mum had already been looking into getting me um, a decoration and it actually has our address on it so I'm not going to like fully show you but I'm going to excuse my ugly finger but how cute my fingers are so ugly with that guys I apologise but how cute is this so it's even got like little Santa on the roof um, and that house kind of looks like similar to our house well it doesn't really I think I've just convinced myself it does it says first Christmas at and then there's our address and then it says 2021 so I'm so chuffed with that. She could have picked a cuter one. It's like perfect. It's going to go with all my rest of my decorations. And she actually gave me that last night, um, which was dead cute. So yeah, that is all of the decorations I have so far. I also actually have a big kind of like wooden advent calendar rather than doing like a chocolate advent calendar. Well, this advent calendar will still be chocolate, but rather than just getting like ones to sit, I thought we could get one. It's like one of those reusable ones where you can put things in it yourself. So. I've got that, it's quite heavy though and it's another room, it's from TK Maxx, um, they had quite a few big ones but so did b &M, but this one um, is like black, cream, white, that kind of vibe so perfect for the house, um, so yeah I'll show you that like probably near the time when I'm doing all my vlogs in my house, how mental is that, I'm going to be vlogging like in another location soon. So I think it's absolutely wild to be showing you decorations in October. Um, the reason I'm actually doing it is because I'm having a big packing weekend this weekend um, and all these decorations are going to be getting packed away in boxes, obviously labelled saying Christmas, put me up ASAP um, so that we can unpack when we get there. But yeah, I've got a big weekend of organising and just kind of really, I've been kind of packing here and there, but I really need to get everything kind of, not, not everything done, but a really good start on things this weekend because it's only like six weeks away so time is pushing on guys yeah i really hope that you enjoyed this video do let me know if you like this style of video where like i kind of take you with me and then obviously i put like little bits of text in here and there letting you know what i've got up to let me know if you like that style of vlog or if you prefer it being a bit more long and me talking and all that kind of stuff um or if you prefer both then that's great i can do a bit of both as well so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in another video really really soon